Our Jaw School is now 120 years old. Reaching this age is no accident at all, but it is due to us continuing to adopt and implement sustainable strategies. The school has overcome many unforeseen circumstances and has really come out stronger for that. When schools in Bahrain were ordered to shut to help slow the spread of the novel coronavirus in February, we activated our emergency response plans and continued to provide the excellent education that Al Rajah School has always been known for. We were able to transition quickly into the virtual delivery of our curriculum by using our already in place systems and processes such as Plus Portals. We didn't have to completely start all over. For us, it was nice to be able to start to transition to that um, in, a, in, a, in a more um, thorough way and to be able to expand the use. And in some ways, it's opened, I think, everyone's eyes to some of the possibilities to be expanding our minds as to what education can look like. وجود المعلم مع التلاميذ هذا أفضل أفضل طريقة طبعا للتعلم وغير طبعا إحنا إحنا دائما متعودين يعني في مدرستنا إن التكنولوجيا تكون موجودة بس بوجود التلاميذ بس غياب التلاميذ والبعد بين المعلمة والتلاميذ أساسا هذا تحدي كبير. But we had to set a routine, like it took, it took us a few days just to set a routine, a daily routine, because children usually uh, behave better and they're more settled when they have a certain routine every day. When you are in a classroom in front of students every day, you have that human interaction with them that you don't have in distance unless you make it that way. So that's what we've done and the school has really been supportive in trying to give us as many tools and as many training and workshops as possible to help everyone through the transition. Staff training has uh, moved in stages, so the first set of training that we did was just to make sure that we were communicating clearly with everyone about what the learning expectations are and, and making sure that our learning instructions were clear. The second thing that we've done is to help transition the high school fully onto PLUS portal so that everything is there for the high schoolers in order to, uh, to access their classroom resources. The most important thing is that the manager made a way to PLUS portal and that the duties are on a regular basis. هني كل المعلمات كانوا في نفس الصفحة فالحين صار الجدول جدول واحد وفي كل اللينكات ما يحتاج أن أروح مكان ثاني حق أوراق عمل ما يحتاج أن أروح مكان ثاني حق الفيديوهات مجرد أشوف المعلمة شنو الأشياء المطلوبة وأضغط عليها فكان كل هذا الجدول فعلا كان رائع يعني Yes of course at the beginning this is a new situation for the school also so uh, at the beginning it was also difficult for them uh, you know, we, we had a mass uh, amount of emails daily, but uh, with the help of uh, other parents and um, with the cooperation between, cooperation between the families and the school, they managed to set again uh, a new routine uh, by sending emails uh, or a virtual learning document uh, per week. It's a weekly document and that helped us um, to manage again the schedule and to manage the uh, study for our children. It is not a holiday, it is just a temporary off and uh, there is a strict control on what they do and number one, they have to do all of their uh, school duties. We follow up on that. واجهنا الكثير من التحديات في هذه الفترة بس الحمد لله رب العالمين إن إحنا قدرنا نجتاز كل هذه التحديات وكنا يعني نلاحظ الأخطاء البسيطة اللي تصير ونحاول قد ما نقدر نعدلها كفريق مكتمل في المدرسة. The next step that we're taking is to make sure that all teachers are able, uh, technologically able to to conduct Zoom sessions and create custom videos. في نفس الوقت ما قاعدين يعني إن معتمدين بس على الزوم نسوي فيديوهات فيديوهات للشرح عندنا غرفة مخصصة لعمل الفيديوهات وبعدين لها المعلمة الحرية في طريقة عرض الفيديو إذا كان بالصوت أو إذا كان مثلا مشاهدة المعلمة. I'm using a lot of Zoom meetings. Uh, Zoom is a great tool for just audio meetings. I use them for video conferences with my class. Um, we meet once a week on, on a Zoom session to talk. Tomorrow we have a virtual lunch 
where it's just more of a connection because that's the thing that they miss. And for the class meetings, we meet with Zoom, like we discuss together, but I usually like we communicate through WhatsApp. One of the big challenges that we're seeing already and that I have read about from schools who've been doing this in, the, in, in East Asia for a number of weeks already is the loneliness factor. And students who are home alone, uh, meaning that they're home without friends and they're not able to go out and see friends, um, and they miss their friends, they miss their teachers. So one of the things that we've that we've been doing is we've been expanding the number of teachers who are using live Zoom sessions in order to do instruction. Um, we have had a number of staff here, particularly our learning inclusion department and our teaching assistants and the social counselors, be connecting via phone call or via um, uh, via Zoom sessions with specific students. I do miss my school and my friends, but hopefully we can teach others soon when the situation ends and for now we don't know when we'll go back to school it's the schools are off until further notice but hopefully we can see each other before the end of the year and meet at school and have fun we are really a strong community at the school. We know we have the support of administration for anything that we want to do. Uh, I have never gone and asked for something that I haven't received. And I think now that the school is able to take a lot of best practices out of what's happened. And we just shouldn't look at it as, you know, just this terrible thing that's happened and disrupted the school. It's actually made us all step outside of our box and do what we do best. هو صعب صعب انه يكون التواصل دائما عن طريق التكنولوجيا او انه تكون التعليم مجرد تكنولوجي هذه فقط ازمه ان شاء الله وتعدي على خير ونقدر بعدين نرجع مع تلاميذنا وشي بس احنا قد ما نقدر ان نخلي هذا الوقت انه يكون في يعني اسهل الطرق للتواصل بين المعلمه والتلاميذ some of the lessons that we've taken from COVID-19 are some of the great online resources that, that we have available to us. And so doing things like discussion boards or something that can absolutely continue. Um, uh, doing things like Flipgrid in the elementary school or something that can absolutely continue. Things that, are, that go beyond just doing a worksheet, that go beyond just doing um, uh, some of the maybe the more traditional educational things that, that we've all uh, been forced to learn um, but then can carry on uh, when, even when we come back to school. I think that at the, at the end of all of this, when this is all over, uh, the school will be stronger for it. It proves sustainability. I mean, 120 years now and then into the future. Uh, I really think that uh, this has kind of got everyone thinking about uh, what should we maybe incorporate into our curriculum next year? Maybe we should think about doing some kind of semi-remote class just to get students aware of what's happening, what will be expected in university. Um, I, I just think that it, all around, it, uh, it's been a learning experience for us, but we've really grown with it.